Hey guys, it's Jennifer Pelfini and we are going to make a fun dish today. I have Adriana here with me. She's gonna help me. So I don't know if you guys have seen, I just posted um, earlier, but there's this trend and it's been going on since January, so I'm actually late to the trend. And it's that feta tomato pasta. So I'm gonna up the ante here a little bit and I'm gonna make some chicken with it too. And I'm gonna make my chicken on my deluxe electric grill and griddle <clears throat> while my pasta dish is cooking and kind of put it all together. We're gonna do that a little bit live until I can't do it live anymore because we don't know how long my lovely assistant will make it. And I'm gonna have so much fun today because I'm gonna cook it in our newest edition cookware, which is available to August host only, which is actually launching in the fall which is our um, enameled cast iron skillet. I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna make the whole dish in this, which is gonna be great. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, here's our ingredients. We need feta cheese chunk. We need a pint of grape tomatoes. I'm using a combination of um, heirloom tomatoes, not just um, grape size, but maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, we need a red bell pepper diced. So we're gonna go ahead and dice that. We need three cloves of garlic, but we're probably gonna use more garlic because I like to use more and garlic. Cheese. Eight ounces of pasta, which I've weighed yeah, off in pasta. my digital scale. So that's all set. And um, parsley leaves. I don't have parsley leaves fresh, so I'm gonna use flakes. And then um, our Greek rub is gonna be the main flavoring for this. And some reserved pasta water. So I plan to make my pasta in my micro cooker in the microwave. So that's gonna eliminate me having to use the stove. And I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 450 degrees. I'm not terribly excited about heating the house up, but I really am craving this dish and I actually have feta cheese, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my red pepper up. I'm gonna get my Santuco knife here, and I'm just gonna cut some big chunks here, and then I'm gonna dice it up in my food chopper, and I think Adriana probably will help me out with that, because she's pretty good at the food chopper. Okay, so hold on, we're not doing it, no, we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do it here. We're gonna, we're gonna do it fast, across. You probably can't see because the, um, because the uh, grill is in the way, but you'll get the idea of what we're doing. So I'm just gonna cut into a couple of chunks here and then I'm gonna go ahead and do it in my food chopper and dice it. I could use my manual food processor, but we're just gonna go ahead and do the food chopper. Okay, but I have to show you first, okay? So hold on a second. Let's go ahead and put it over here. Let me, let me put it on top and then you can pump, okay? Okay, let me start it. Now you pump it, go ahead. Now we're looking for one red pep bell pepper dice. So we're gonna go ahead and dice this whole thing. Next one, okay, put it back on there. By the way, my food chopper I've had since 2007 and it actually is even cracked and it still works. So go ahead, Adriana. Let me start it and then you go, okay? Boom, another one. I wanna do it. Okay, you can do the next one. Go ahead, do the next one. I want to do it myself this time. Go ahead. This time. This We're time. cooking. We're doing a live video here. Cooking with Adriana, making our feta pasta and delicious chicken. Chicken, feta, feta, <laughs> There's Daddy on live TV. He just walked in getting ruffles. He must be getting hungry. Good thing we're making dinner. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you ready? I'll help you. Ready? Two more to go. That's gonna be our whole red pepper. Okay, ready? Let me start no! it, let me start it, let me start it, let me start it, okay? Okay, you go ahead. Okay, great job, okay? Okay, awesome, okay. We got some remnants in there. We're gonna go ahead and get our mini skinny scraper and we'll scrape all the extra green pepper out there. I mean, red pepper out of there. See, scrape it like that. And then 
this recipe is so easy, you guys. I'm so excited to make something super easy. So we're gonna put our red pepper over here. And in case you're gonna see what we were doing, here's a red pepper we just chopped, super simple. So it says what we're gonna do is preheat the oven. We're gonna place the feta cheese in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my feta cheese open. Looks like my grill's ready to go. Ah, my feta was out, out of the fridge a little bit, so it got a little bit soft, which that's okay. I'm gonna have to cook easily, more easily. Okay, so we're gonna put our feta in the middle of the pan. Go ahead, Let me put it in. Put the feta in the middle. Okay, put it in, yep, right there in the middle. And we're gonna put the grape tomatoes, pepper, and whole garlic around the cheese. Okay, so help me put this, the tomatoes around. We're gonna put it around the cheese, okay? All these beautiful colors you guys were using. Okay, put it around the cheese. Okay, isn't that pretty? Don't you think that's pretty? Okay, we put it around the cheese. Let's just take a look at that so you can see. All around the cheese like that. I ate another one. And did you eat one? Uh-oh. Then we better get some more. And then we're going to go ahead and put the garlic around. So let's get our garlic. Put a garlic over here. Put it in the bowl. Put it in the bowl. Put another one in the bowl. Another one in the bowl. Okay. Let's get some more garlic out here. Open this up. Maybe two more garlics. One. We'll put it all the way around like that. Okay, put it right there, put it right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and add some more tomatoes. You're, right. you're eating the tomatoes. You can't eat the foods when we're making it, silly. Yes, I Let's do. get some more tomatoes. I don't think you can have enough tomatoes, so I'm gonna err on the side of more tomatoes and then less. And put some more in here. That's good. Maybe a few more. Okay, I think we're good. I I'm think gonna eat this one. You want to eat those ones? Yeah. Okay. Next, we're going to uh, drizzle our, our olive garlic and sprinkle the rub on top. For the rub, we're going to use a teaspoon of Greek rub. Let's go ahead and get our teaspoon out. <clears throat> teaspoon of the Greek rub, and we're going to spread our olive oil, which we have in our um, Easy Read measuring cup. A half a cup of that. We're going to pour that in. We're not going to put those in there. Honey. You're going to eat those. Oh, and then I, oops, sorry, I forgot, I forgot, we had to put our, um, our red pepper in there. Let's go ahead and put our red pepper in there. Uh-oh. So we're just going to kind of put the red pepper a little bit here, a little bit there, and just kind of splash it around. It's so, this is such a beautiful dish right now. I'm just so excited about this. It's going to be so yummy. Red pepper just opens up flavor in dishes, like anything, and the colors and everything, oh my gosh. Once we throw the, the chicken in there, it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the olive oil around. I want that olive oil. I will do it, I will do it, okay? I gotta do this part. You can help me with the, with the spice, okay? We're gonna sprinkle the olive oil around. So I'm getting it kind of evenly. A little bit on top of the feta at the end and the rub on top. Okay, it's for the rub. Wait, let me see. Can I have the rub, please? I need to measure it. I need to measure it. Okay. So we're going to do a teaspoon of the rub, this delicious Greek rub, and I'm going to sprinkle it, okay? Can you, oh, can you hold it with me? Okay, we we'll do it together. Okay, perfect. And that's how we're going to get that awesome Greek flavor in there, and that's it, you guys. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to bake until the cheese and the tomatoes, the, the tomatoes are softened and the cheese is brown, about 25 minutes. So let's just take a look at this because you're probably going to see everything. How gorgeous that looks, you guys. Okay, let's go what ahead and do that. This one? We're doing that later. Why? We don't need it right now. Why? Okay, so we're going to put this in for 25 minutes into the oven. Un uncovered. And we'll put our kitchen timer on for 25. Okay, well that's going. We are going to start our pasta. And for our pasta, I'm gonna pour the pasta in the micro cooker. And then I'm just gonna cover the pasta with water. Let me go 
I don't want you to go to sleep. And this is a vegetable pasta, so this is even going to be more healthy. So I'm going to put the pasta in here, and I'm going to do um, a little bit of salt in there. A little bit of salt in there. We don't need that. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the microwave for about 12 minutes. We don't, we don't need that right now. No. I'll show you when we need the next thing, okay? I'm going to put my boil over top in here so it's not going to spill. And then we're going to put the top on. Put the top on. Okay, perfect. Oh, wrong way. Mommy's got it the wrong way. So this is the micro cooker. It has a boil over top here so that it won't spill. And then, no, no, no. I show you. Then you do this, okay? And then lift, lift the lid. Yep, and snap it in. Oh, hold on, we gotta line it up. We gotta line it up first. Hold on, be patient. Okay, snap it in. Uh huh. Perfect. Thank you, Adriana. Okay, we're gonna put this in the microwave for 12 minutes. And then we're gonna work on our chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna get all this stuff out of here so we have a bigger working space. What? My grill is heated, so we're set there. We'll just get all this mess out of here. It's gonna be an easy cleanup. It always is chaotic when you're cooking, but if you guys have ever done a, done a cooking show, it is a chaotic place in the kitchen. Maybe it's not as chaotic in your kitchen, but it always seems to be very chaotic in mine. I am chaotic by nature, and that's okay. I accept that about myself. I get a good result, so I don't really care what it looks like in the process. Unless the Food Network's gonna pay me to be on TV. Ha 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 ha, just kidding, that would never happen. Okay, so I've got, so here's what I did with my chicken, you guys. So I took my chicken and I just throw, tossed some olive oil in here and I used our lemon garlic rub, about um, a teaspoon of that and I tossed it around the chicken and that's how our chicken's gonna cook. And all we're gonna do is put our chicken on the grill and we are gonna put the probe in it to make sure it cooks right gonna cook to 165 degrees. Um, my grill is ready, so I'm gonna push it back so you can see better. And I'm gonna pop my probe into one of my chicken pieces, my thickest piece, to make sure that it cooks accurately. So probe, so cancel. Okay, so probe. One sixty-five, and that's what we want to do for chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that probe in there towards the middle. You probably can't see this part. Let me see if I can lower it. Okay, there we go. Maybe you could see better now. We're gonna maybe lower. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so for this part, we're gonna put the probe in there, and then I'm gonna gently put my chicken on there. <clears throat> this is my biggest piece. I did not oil my grill because my chicken is nice and oiled. So I'm probably going to do two rounds of chicken because I'm doing extra chicken for the week because you guys know that I don't like to cook every day. So I want to make it easy in my kitchen for the next few days. And I'm going to go ahead and close the grill once I got my probe in there properly. And it's going to be in a closed position but not quite touching. And it's going to go off once my probe is ready. See, that's not that hot, okay? So don't touch that. And I've got three more pieces of chicken to do. So once that's two more pieces of chicken, so once that's done, I'll do that, okay? So that's it, you guys. Don't touch it, okay? Please. So that's it, you guys. That's going to be a super easy dinner when um, we're looking at about 20, 25 minutes looking probably about a half an hour for everything start to finish maybe a little bit longer um i will message you don't touch it okay i will i will uh post when our dinner's ready so you can see what it looks like so you can see i've got three things going i've got my pasta in the microwave yes i could cook it on the stove i'm not doing that just the microwave's easier for me right now i've got my um pasta being made in the oven and i've got my chicken going on the grill all of it is going to come together for a delicious easy Simple, nice tasting kind of uh, summer dinner. Um, 
And I don't really need to do anything else. I already have vegetables covered. I could do some, maybe some asparagus. I'm going to end up on the drum. Huh? I'm going to end up on the drum. You're going to stop it on the what? All right, we'll get back to you soon. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Say bye. Want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Say we'll see you at dinner time. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs>